Have you ever felt that people are just rushing you? Have you ever felt like they're trying to get you to the close or that they're not really hearing you? Why, why is that so important this year? Well, it's even more important because with all of us being at home and working out of our office situations have changed, it's important that we know that we're showing up genuine. And when we're not showing up genuine and people feel like we're being rushed in conversations or we're not being heard, we don't want to deal with those folks anymore. I'm Elizabeth Duncan Hawker and I'm the Red Hawk and one of my specialties is I train people that dread networking to build amazing referrals into a network that then they can grow and make better income. And how do I do that? Because I explain things and I work with them hands on and we make it comfortable for them to learn. I've trained thousands of people. And one of the best stories I remember is one of the Marines, former Marines, that then went into a contracting company and he was hired to do sales. He was brilliant with his technical abilities to go out and provide a service, do quotations. His follow-up was strong. He, we, he could answer questions. However, he didn't have the interpersonal skills to feel comfortable talking to someone. So when he got to that point, that then he felt like, okay, they've, they agreed to this, I gave them that, okay, now, now it should happen. He was a little bit too pushy, and all of a sudden the energy changed. So I had to work with him to understand that there's a timing, there's a rhythm, there's the way that we connect with people and we follow up with them. And then when I took him to some events, we actually did some private mentorship, then he got to see on a one-to-one -one the way that you exchange and you have a conversation. And no one had ever taught him this. So if you have employees that you've hired to represent your company and they say, oh yeah, I can talk to people, that's your first sign. If anybody ever says to you, I talk to people, or no, I got this, I can talk to them. We're not talking to people, we're talking with people. And right now, over the last 18 months, it's been extremely difficult because if we're rushing that conversation with people, then all of a sudden the person on the other side of us gets very uncomfortable because they don't quite understand, well, I don't know you that well, or why are you asking for that? So this past six months, I've been very active on a new app uh, on the clubhouse, maybe many of you are, and what I'm hearing is a consistency in the clubs that I'm running that we're talking about what are the things that people like when someone follows up with them? What are the ways that genuine connections are being made? So that whole timing and not being rushed is a huge thing. And for example, one of the people last night when I was engaging with them said, I am so tired of somebody not even reading my profile, reaching out to me on Instagram, DMing me, so that's direct messaging, and then sending me a message that just is stupid. And I thought, wow, that sounds kind of harsh. And she said, yeah, they send me a message that says, oh, I see you're in the such and such industry. How do you like it? <laughs> and her comment to me was, I'm in this industry for 22 years. That's the dumbest question I ever heard. Of course I like it. Of course I'm expanding. I'm happy. I mean, why would I stay doing something? She goes, well, maybe it's because I'm from up north and I was being a little bit too direct in the way I was thinking, but she thought, I don't even want to get to know this person. So instead of them starting out, which is what I recommend, and here's a tip, here's a growth networking tip for you, is I recommend that when somebody says something that's amazing and you want to connect with them, and if you're going to follow up on Facebook or you're going to uh, reach out to them on LinkedIn, or like in this case, the person followed up with her on Instagram, then comment in the DM message to them what specifically was the thing that you found of value. So for example, people will come back to me and they'll say, hey Elizabeth, I tried the tip that you told me about, like today we're talking about timing and not rushing something. So for example, they'll make a comment on that and then they'll say, I tried this and then the, my result was and I really appreciate you doing that. So one, if they reach out to me and they tell me that they liked something, then I'm gonna respond back and say, oh, I'm so glad you got value out of that. 
then it starts the conversation. Then if they follow back up and tell me how they've implemented something that I recommended or something, a jewel, a pearl of wisdom that I gave them, that's even better because it gives them another reason to come back and talk to me, right? So that volley can start the conversation. Likewise, they can also offer, if it's something that I may be maybe not as talented on, they can say, hey, by the way, if I can be of service over here or I know people that might be interested in your training or, for example, I would love to in invite you to be on my podcast, you know, then this is a giving back. But where, where most people mess up and they rush things and they want to get that relationship going super, super quick when we don't know each other, okay, is they run right into, and I think you would be perfect for, and then they start trying to sell to us. And that's the moment that then we all kind of get the eye roll and we go, oh, no, not again, right? That happens a lot, it seems like, on uh, some of the social media platforms where they don't bother to take time to really look at our posts, look at what we're about, get to know us, that rhythm. That's what I'm talking about. They, they're not paying attention to that. They, they don't see us as a human. They see us as, oh, Dollar signs, a potential person I'm going to get to know, boom, this is how that person can help me. And whenever we show up that way, our energy is hugely affected that way because it, it's so transparent. So if you think you're not transparent, double check your energy. And if you would not walk up to somebody, for example, if you're going out to um, say your mailbox or to let your dog out, and you're out there and you're bumping into your neighbor, if you would not show up that way and say that to somebody that you're just, you're just engaging with, and that would not be the tone and that's not what you would say, then double check yourself. Is this what I would really say to somebody on social media? Is this how I would show up? Or on Clubhouse, on the audio app? So if that's not how it would come across, then, then please do yourself a favor and don't show up that way to others, particularly if they don't know you yet. Now, I have a huge network. I'm very, very blessed. I have met over the last decades, I've met so many people from my corporate career. Then when I started the Red Hawk Strategic Solutions business and teaching the growth networking program. And I, I mean, I'm very, very fortunate. So people reach out to me, but I am also a giver. I am known in the industry for that. You can call me if we have a relationship. I'm going to try to find it, help you get a resource. I listen. So another growth networking tip I would give you is if you are the person that's trying to figure out, well, what is that natural rhythm, Elizabeth? What is that? What is what is the pace? What is the cadence that I should kind of have a conversation with somebody? Then the first thing I would do is say, really listen, because if you start listening somewhere along that that audio conversation you were on or that podcast they were on or something they posted, or maybe if you were lucky enough and you were in person with them, there's something that they mentioned somewhere that they're looking for something. And I'm not talking about they're saying, well, I'm looking for more sales, I'm looking for more buyers, more clients. But, but for example, maybe they're saying, I'm looking to uh, do more speaking opportunities, okay? That's a perfect thing. Maybe you know somebody who started and has a very successful podcast that you can then introduce them to. So if you listen for the need, that gives you a reason to circle back to somebody. For example, I called one of my clients and, and it had been a probably, probably about six months since we talked, just checking in. I keep a list, here's another growth networking tip. I keep a list in my phone of at least three people a day that I have not spoke to in a while, whether they're clients, they're in my network, they're my friends, but I call them. I text them or reach out or reach out and call them somehow. Some communication starts, right? So I go beyond the text. Uh, I love sending audio messages. Those are ideal. So if you don't know how to do that, when you're texting somebody, you can actually hit the microphone. That's an amazing thing to do on Instagram, too. So instead of just typing in a DM, audio your DM. That's, the, that's a very cool new way that people want to hear your voice. They hear the enthusiasm. And that way your words don't get jumbled, too. So follow-up is another huge way. So you're going to listen for the need. 
then you're going to follow up with the people that you haven't talked to in a while. And then the original point was, we're going to start checking ourselves. Are we? Are these the things we're going to say, or does it feel rushed? And it, and and I love this example because one of my other colleagues gave me, and they said, Elizabeth, it's feeling so rushed right now. It's like, for example, if I walked up to somebody that I hadn't met before, and we start a conversation, and it's going really well, and I go, hey, you know what? My family's going to Bush Gardens for the weekend, and then we're going to go over, and we're going to have this big picnic afterwards, and then we're going to go camping right after that. You should totally come. <laughs> and the person standing there looking at you thinking, I don't even know your last name. I don't know where you're from. I know nothing about you. I just met you in this app, or I just met you in this room, or Wow. Okay. I mean, imagine their face, but that's what's happening right now. So if you're at the point that you would like to stand out in a crowd, but in a really good way, and you want to make sure that you're doing things when you're networking with others, and you have the rhythm that's right with the cadence of how you're talking to people, or if you're the person that dreads, actually, and I've helped I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people that are just dreading it, but I've also helped about a thousand people that really just needed to improve their skills. But if you're at that point that you're thinking, you know what, I know I want this, but I'm not sure I need this, then that's when you do need to double check yourself and say, well, you know what, if, is how I'm working working for me? And if I'm feeling uncomfortable, with how I'm responding to people, or if I'm feeling uncomfortable on a Zoom and I don't know, am I just showing up and it's just like boxes of people and then I just sit here and I don't say anything, then you've lost all those opportunities to connect because we're going to be virtual for a while still. So if you're ready to take some changes in your life and you're just and you're thinking, you know what, I've been doing it my way for quite a while and I want to look more polished, I want to feel more confident. I want to I want to have less dread about showing up. And I want to I want other people to remember me and not feel like I'm rushing conversations with them or have said something inappropriate and I don't even know that. Okay. So then reach out because I would love to hear what's going on in your world. We offer continuous amounts of training for you and we do have private mentorship too. I love working with people. I promise you it will not be painful. You will make progress. We're very hands-on and it's doable. So back to my original question, are you feeling rushed? If you're feeling rushed, then most likely people are rushing you. And if you're on turn, you might be that person rushing things because you have to get a deadline, you need more clients, you need more this and everything, then let's get together. Let's revisit that because there are other ways to do it that work better than that. So I'm Elizabeth Duncan Hawker, and I'm so glad that we got to spend some time together today. Thank you for watching. And of course, you know, please reach out on any of my social media platforms. Connect with me. I love to make new friends. Thank you, and I look forward to helping you. Thank you. Have a great day, and stay blessed.